This is the first time I've ever done this walk and there's no one here for the sunset. What are you up to? Uh, I'm going to a Pilates class. I've never taken Pilates before. So it's gonna be my first one ever and it's with Home Court by Courtney Cox. Is this a faux pas? New Balance Nikes? Uh, well, it's not, and I don't think anyone knows those are Nikes either, even if it were a faux pas. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't even know what to wear. This looks great. Yeah. Am I supposed to wear like a shirt over this? I, I don't think so. I, th I think this looks pretty. This looks great. Okay. Cool. I think it's a workout. Wear what's comfortable, you know? Yeah. What do you expect it to be like? I really don't know. This is the before, and then make sure you get the sweaty after <laughs> footage. Oh, damn, I have like cat hair all over this. Anyway, uh, yeah, I have no idea what it's gonna be like. I'm gonna bring my camera. Um, it's gonna be in Venice, so it's kinda a ways away. Culver, right? Oh, wait. No, I think it's Venice. Uh oh. Tunnel Pilates. You Lincoln Boulevard. You need to start driving, eh? Yeah. Well, it says it's only 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. Yeah, so I'll head. Hey, Woody! Let's see it. Do an outfit change. Outfit change. I don't know. I don't know if it's a good job. You know me, how much like 18 costume changes. Wow. Hi, welcome to Noto. Can I take your order? <laughs> I know, right? I, I love that there's um, like other goods in here too. Yes. You know? Like I've seen these. Um, the you know, Sicilian. Like for your body or for your hair? For your head. Oh, really? Or neck. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh! You know what? I've seen this. Yeah. Wow, this is. Fancy. Whoa, this feels so good in this area. There's sandalwood. Oh my gosh. Yesterday I got a facial and it was like a. What is this area called? Oh, oh, the, buckle. oh the mass of our muscle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the buckle. The buckle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's what it is. So. Did they go inside? And it felt like. It felt wild yeah. to the. Like, I need that. Do you feel new? What, like, I was like. I mean. I couldn't believe it. Like when she did it, like I could feel my whole body just like tingling. Yeah. And then when she finished, I felt like I could like sing a Broadway, like enunciate, Whoa. you know? Wow. Yeah. You go? It was this place called Code of Harmony in Long Beach. Wow. Okay. You yeah. Did. Highly endorsed. I wish she would. How much was it? Um, I think it's 185 or something like that. But I'm not sure if they just do the buckle thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, if they if they offer that service just to do the buckle thing, I would totally do it, you know. Wow. But damn, that was like that was the best facial I've ever had in my life. Dang. That's yeah. Really not terrible for facial. Yeah. Especially if you're saying it's the best you've ever had. That's amazing. Yeah, and I've had some like really crazy ones too. Yeah, I'm sure. This is and definitely. And she used to do facials for what? her friend. Well, not not for like work, but just for. Just yeah, so good at it, I, I love doing it. I love like, yeah. This is so nice. Oh, not, I know that's a Chloe piece. Chloe, you said Chloe Lee. Chloe Park. Chloe Park. Yeah. I love all the art here. And that's why, Tom, you gotta get your greeting cards back in here. You oh get, get them back and then get them in here. So dark. Wait, they're photography. Okay, so these are the multi Benny sticks, which I have in the pots at home. Like I have this one right here, which is the Ono Ono color. But um, is it okay if I talk about this? Yes. Or is it a secret? No. Please. Okay. Well, so they're discontinuing the pots, and I love the pots. Um, so now they're like on sale, and I think they're only like twelve dollars each. Well, yeah. Until supplies last. Um, which I don't think it's gonna last because these are insane. I love these. So I just bought this one and this one, which is the highlighter and the color. Um, but yeah, this is the one I already have. And then 
Oh, and this is the last you'll see of this right here too, which is kind of like a opalescent, or opalescent, like this color right here, highlighter. Yeah, I've been vlogging weekly. Let me see it. Let me see it on you, Maddie. She's wearing the multi Benny in Oscillate. We all are. And so is the traveling. Yeah, it looks good on everyone. I have it on too. And we're having deja vu. Yeah. We've been here before. I like these pots. Me too. Wait, this don't forget, it. this is yours, right? Oh yeah, I want, I want a big one. Really? Wait, where? It's, it's a... Oh, it's yeah. because it's not yeah. protection at all. It's in the app water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is a better shape. Can you shake it? I love this. Cute. Do you think we could see it through the lens? Oh, what, that's what we were trying to do. Oh, were you able to? Okay. Uh, oh. All right, this is, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. the big story you're saying. Maddie just invited me to Everlane to pick out some stuff and boy did I pick out stuff. Um, I picked up some shoes which they're coming um, and they're gonna have to order it but I got this sweater which the neck isn't really that stretchy but I got this because it's kind of like a cropped knit sweater. The size is extra small. The reason why I got this is because I have one that I've been wearing for years. I had a stain on it or something so then I was scrubbing it away like crazy and then it ripped a hole and I don't know how to fix it so I got one that looks almost exactly like it but this one's even nicer material and I feel like you oh this is recycled cashmere oh my gosh and you can also darn cashmere unlike the sweater that I have that I'm just storing. It's so comfortable and so soft and I don't have anything cashmere. So this is the fanciest sweatshirt that I own. So yeah, this is an extra small, but it's kind of loosey-goosey. The neck is pretty small and it doesn't expand that easily. So I just have to be careful, like take off my earrings every time I put this on. And then the next thing I got is this large men's sweatshirt that I figured um, they can wear. It's a nice heavyweight gray sweater. I think Maddie also got this too. I like that the bottom part of this, there's a little bit of a gap so that it's not clinging tight like this, you know what I mean? Because sometimes the end of a crew neck sweater is just tight right here and it just doesn't feel that comfy and I like how this is kind of loosey goosey. So yeah, if I wear it over shorts or over my swimsuit and stuff. Also, you can wear it like this. Like a scarf, you know? That for a comfy look. <laughs> Maddie and I have a lot of the same taste. Cause I had this on my, like my screen grab. When I walked in, she was like, oh yeah, I also ordered that too. But she got it in black and I got mine in brown. And oh my gosh, this is an extra, extra small. I'm 5'5 five five, and I mean, it's still like kind of big on the shoulder. Um, it's meant to be bigger, but even at an extra, extra small, is kind of long on me on the arms and big enough so that like if I were to button it up and if I was wearing a thick jacket underneath or a thick sweater underneath, it would still fit. Um, so I figured this is the best fit for me. I really like this and I'm excited to wear this one out because I've been wearing my trench coat. I've been wearing this trench coat like non-stop and it's basically the same kind of vibe but I'm wearing this non-stop because it's so warm and it, it's lined but it's starting to smell really bad and I haven't had a chance to take it to the dry cleaner because every time I want to take it there um, it's pouring out. It's supposed to rain in the next couple of days so I'm gonna wear this one and then drop off the other one to my dry cleaner finally. And then the last thing I got it's actually something Maddie was already wearing. It was these jeans 
and I'm usually between a 26 or 27 so um, I got this in a size 27 because I wanted it to be kind of looser I really like it and I like that they're almost like Jinkos the back pocket is super long I don't know if you can see but the side pocket right here or this front pocket goes all the way back it's for gardeners or they're called the gardener jeans that's so interesting and it is a little bit like it's already stretching out i've been wearing it for the last like hour or so yeah online it says that it runs small so people have been sizing up a little bit but yeah i really like these they're great. So I've been making this drink that I found on TikTok, but it's with a whole lemon, rind, seeds, everything. I'm making some for myself too. So two lemons, one for Jason, one for me. Three cups of water. We got some cinnamon right here. Jason's outside in the heat. It's like a pretty warm day today. He's outside in the heat, refinishing, repainting our picnic table out front. Um, because we like to eat out there when the weather's nice. We used to play chess out there and everything too, which I think I need to just move my chess board and then we can start hanging out there a lot more. Some maple syrup, about a tablespoon per cup, but this is the very end of it, so I'm just gonna finish it up. A little bit of salt, and I have this right here, which is real salt. Redmond's real salt. Jason's mom suggested real salt a while ago. For electrolytes and stuff um, so I got this at mother's market oh yeah a little bit of ginger I usually pour it over ice but Jason said that he wants it kind of icy so I'm gonna put some ice in there also olive oil about a tablespoon per cup so I'm gonna put like three ish in there the last thing is a little bit of vanilla Mm, delicious. Definitely not for everyone because it's a little bit bitter. I like it and I've been making different variations of it. Like sometimes I'll use sweet condensed milk instead of maple syrup and that makes it taste more like an horchata. Um, yeah, it's really good. I'm eating the soup that Jason made and then I have some coffee. Just took my vitamins um, and I'm gonna get some work done and then um, go to the studio. Virgil Normal. Jason's covering today because Charlie is DJing at a wedding. I wanted him to buy something. <laughs> yeah. Two weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> you already missed it. <laughs> Look how cool. Let's do a little laugh around the store. This is Saram wrap. I think the only thing he has left is one white donut and there's some Maddie cakes right here. Um some water bottles, some cameras. Who's out there? Just, just the wind picking up. Oh, oh yeah, it's supposed to rain later today. Pegboard. This is a mohair cardigan. Cardigan. Kurtigan, like Kurt Cobain. Shop tees. Oh yeah, one of the older ones older style base one are you nervous Come here. <laughs> don't fuck up so i just said i want to make sure people have questions i've got all the answers to yeah you can always text oh jason has this hoodie or crew neck sweatshirt it's really cute it's got Charlie's cats on it. There's me.
Look at all the art that Charlie painted. Oh, this is the backyard area, which is where they have parties often. So there'd be like a DJ right here. And um, yeah, it just fills up with people. I'm wearing all Everlane right now. Well, except for my shoes, they're Rothy's. The Evan Lane gardening pants, the cashmere sweatshirt, and this is basically like a sleeping bag. It's so big. Okay, so if you come into the store, you'll know how exactly how tall I am because of this right here. That's way off. Stand in front of it again? You must have been wearing boots that day. You're a full inch below, well, okay. Really? Uh, okay, no, you're right, you're right. You just weren't up to it before. Look, you're not on here, are you? No. Okay, I'm picking out stuff for a wedding, so I guess a little bit more upbeat. It's a wedding in the park, so pretty upbeat, playful. Lovey dovey. Oh man, do I have anything? Oh, I have like a whole safari. Woody. Let's see. Al Green. I'm only going to bring a tote because there's going to be other DJs there and I think it'll be pretty busy even without me there. Woody. Can you help me? Come here. What are you looking at, Woody? Woody's 12 now. Woody, you're 12. You don't even know.